Officials are hoping that someone, somewhere, will recognize these two men. Our greatest hope that at least one of them, perhaps both of them, would be identified and then it would be confirmed perhaps through DNA. The men were among the 16 who died nearly 150 years ago when the Monitor sank in rough waters off the coast of North Carolina. About a decade ago, the Monitor's turret was salvaged. Two skeletons were found inside. The military tried to determine who they were by looking at military records as well as evidence found with them. It was not the Eureka moment where we found what we were hoping for. Still, they were able to come up with these busts and have narrowed the search. Our suspicion is that we're looking to, to about four men that, that uh, these two individuals may represent. Officials now say they hope someone looking at these busts will see a bit of their past in them. Now, our greatest hope is that a descendant or two will come forward and, and may, maybe have old photographs, old family photographs, or just say, gosh, you know, my uncle, my cousin, my so-and-so was, was on that boat or that ship and when it went down and, we, you know, we never have heard anything else. And if the faces fail to yield results, officials want to have the remains buried at Arlington National Cemetery. Rita Foley, The Associated Press.